more and more people are experiencing burnout. Uh, books being written on it. Harvard doing a study on it. Okay, burnout. You're going to hear a lot about burnout, folks. I'm just going to tell you, here it comes. We've now rallied around the term, and everybody's going to go, oh, I'm so burned out. You know, uh, Joe, many years ago, I don't know when, like the word busy's been around for a while, but at some point in our collective culture, every time we get together with people, it's always, oh, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Like busy became a term of honor because the busier I am, the more impressive I am, right? Like, like we, you think about it, you, you know, it's true. You, you see somebody and you run into them. Hey, how you doing? Oh, man. Life's crazy, man. It's crazy. Crazy busy. I can barely catch my breath. Hey, do you mind for a second? Hold on. I'm going to bend down and touch my knees. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Man, I'm just so busy. I can barely breathe. You busy like I'm busy? Because I'm busy. I'm busier than I've ever been. Hey, watch this. Burnout's coming. Ugh, I'm burned out. Now, Hang on for a second. I can already feel some people are going, hey, 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 let's not joke about this. I'm burned out, bro. Take it easy. Slow your roll. Well, hang on for a second. I'm going to encourage you, but I want to call this out. I read that article this morning, and I thought to myself, and I wrote this down on my phone. Typed it up. 6.15 this morning, Joe. You don't have a burnout problem. You have a buildup problem. You don't have a burnout problem. You've got a build-up problem. Let me explain. Burnout occurs exactly one time in everybody's life at the end of it. This is when the flame is gone. When you draw your last breath and enter into eternity, you're burned out. The, the flame is gone. Now, you might be sick. You might be in debt, you might be depressed, abused, discouraged, full of anxiety, stuck, scared, but you're not burned out. You're, stuff, you're suffering from build up. So even if you can't see the flame, smell the flame, hear the flame, if you're breathing right now, I got some good news for you. You're not burned out. Now, are you suffering from buildup? Absolutely. But the reason I am challenging the word and coming up with a different idea is because I want you to truly understand what's going on. Here's what's happening. You're dealing with difficult people. That's buildup. Boy, oh boy. Difficult people will create some buildup on your heart fast. I mean, you don't want to be around them, which means you don't even want to be in the office. That is buildup. The experience of being around these negative, backbiting, gossipy people, uh, that builds up on your heart. It's a wound. It builds up. Scar tissue builds up, builds up, builds up, builds up. You can't feel your heart anymore. That's buildup, not burnout. You got a difficult leader, a leader who doesn't appreciate you, a leader who is dishonest with you, a leader who is just a train wreck. That's not burnout. That's buildup. Every time you feel slighted, every time you lose trust, a wound. Scar tissue builds up. You can't feel your heart. That's buildup. You're not doing work you love. Hey, the people are okay. You like the people. You like the leader, it's fine. But there's no connection to your heart. And so every day that you drive in, you realize that you spend another eight, nine, ten hours, whatever it is, doing something that has no connection to you. Your job doesn't matter to you. And then you start to think that you don't matter because your job doesn't matter. So I must not matter. Ooh. You're not burned out. You've got buildup on your heart. We've had teachers call in, most notably teachers, but people from all careers. But recently, I'm thinking of several teachers who have called over the last month. If you listen to the show regularly, you know what I'm talking about. 
and they feel like they're burned out. In fact, they use the phrase burned out. And I press in a little bit, dig a little bit, and we figure out what is the source of what they're saying is burnout, but it's actually build up. Right? Spending too much time doing paperwork, focusing on standardized test scores, dealing with behavior problems. None of that is the actual work of instructing in the classroom. And so what happens is frustration and disappointment and discontent and all these things begin to build up on the heart. And you can't feel the heart anymore. So you think, because I can't feel the heart, there's no heart in my work. Got to change careers. And what we have found many times is that they are doing the right thing in the wrong place. They're not experiencing burnout. They're dealing with build up. So I want you folks to grasp this. Here's why. I really believe what I'm saying. The human body and the human spirit are two amazing things, and they work together. You go home, you have a bad day, it's fine. You get distracted, lean into your loved ones, do something to relieve the stress, something healthy, and you go to sleep, you wake up, and you tackle the next day. And you remember why you're doing it, and you love the work. So even a bad day gets thrown on the ash heap of history because your heart and head are aligned. We all have bad days, even in work we love. This is not, you know, la, 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 la. That's not what I'm selling. All right? But understand what buildup is. It's not burnout. The very phrase burnout says the flame is extinguished. My spirit is gone. And I don't want to talk theology on this program, but let me tell you when your spirit is gone. Your spirit leaves your body when you die. So there's one day and only one day that we are all burned out in our life, and it's when we breathe our last breath. So you are not burned out. The flame is there. Uncover your heart. Get your heart healthy. Get clear. Get confident. Call me. 